Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest royal icing with only three ingredients as well as how to decorate Christmas cookies with just one shape of cookies. Let's jump right into it. Sift the powdered sugar and meringue powder into a mixing bowl. Give it a quick stir. When the mixer runs on low, add in the water one tablespoon at a time. You may be tempted to add all of the water at once because you may think that this looks too dry. But don't add more than 8 tablespoons at this time in case it gets too runny. Turn the mixer to medium speed. This is the part where you have to keep an eye on it. Give it some time to beat and then continue to add a tablespoon of water at a time until it reaches the consistency that we want. Be sure to scrape the bowl down halfway through. Depending on the moisture in the air where you are, you may only need 8 tablespoons of water. I've made this with 9 tablespoons and sometimes even 12. We want to make this into our outline consistency icing. Then we will water it down to make a flat consistency separately. The outline consistency is achieved when I get a soft peak. It holds the little line and not super stiff. See how it flips over but still holding the little peak? This is good. The icing will get dry when exposed to the air, so be sure to cover the bowl with a damp towel. Now let's color this. Scoop some of the icing into a small bowl. As I mentioned earlier, this is my outline consistency icing, so this is ready to go. I'm going to take icing from this bowl for my outline and flip. This is how you can get both outline and flip consistency icing the exact same color. Use gel food color to color the icing. Add a little bit at a time until you achieve the color that you want. Once done coloring, scoop some of this into a piping bag. This is the outline consistency icing, so usually I will put less in here and leave more in a bowl. Press the air out and tie this bag up. You can tie a knot like I did or just use a rubber band. We want to keep the icing nice and tight in there without exposing to the air while we work on other colors. Now back to the bowl of icing, we are going to make the flood consistency. What I'm going to do is to add water to it until it reaches the consistency I want. Please keep in mind that a little water goes a long way when it comes to watering down your icing. So just add a little bit at a time. I'm looking for smooth icing that ribbons off the spoon. I want the icing to melt back into itself. When it settles back on itself within 5 to 10 seconds, then you know you have the right consistency. After I make the flirt icing, I don't want to bag it right away. I want to cover it with a damp paper towel and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. The reason is after we add more water and stir it more, it will develop more air in the icing and causing bubbles to form. You don't want this on your cookies because it won't give you a smooth surface. See these little bubbles? We will pop them before transferring this into a piping bag. The easiest way to fill the piping bag is to fold the bag over a glass, then start transferring all icing into it. When done, try pressing all of the air out and tie the bag.
This one has even more bubbles, so you can get a better idea. This is how my workstation looks like. I have two separate plates of icing here, covered with a damp kitchen towel. One is my outline consistency, and the other one the flood. Once we cut the tip off the piping bags, you will want to cover them so the tip doesn't get dry out. Then I have an area where I will work on the cookies, as well as a large tray to place the cookies after decorating. Now I'm going to show you how to decorate Christmas themed cookies with just one shape. Let's jump right into it. Pipe the outline consistency icing close to the edge of the cookie. You can pipe it as close to the edge as possible or leave a little space. The piping tip is not touching the cookie, you are just hovering slightly above it. Once it's done, then fill it with the flood consistency icing. The flood icing should settle nicely on its own. If it doesn't, you can use a toothpick to push it a little. And this is how to fill a cookie. Now let's work on the different designs. And here you have it, 8 different designs all on the round shaped cookies. <music> 